Well, good morning. This morning I'm reading from Psalm 100, and it is a psalm of praise, it says. There's just five verses, and it's a fantastic psalm, very encouraging. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. What a fantastic little psalm. Very encouraging. Make a joyful noise. Sing to the Lord. And he calls for all lands to make a joyful noise. Not just a particular group of people, but for all lands. Serve him with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. And know this about God. Know ye the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us. God is our creator. And because of that, we owe him our praise. We owe him our worship. We have not made ourselves. And a lot of people need to be reminded of that. We've got a lot of people that are too smart for their own good, or they think they're smart. And in their smarts, they have come to believe that nothing exploded, became everything, and then everything began to change into different things, and then you came from a monkey, and they think they're smart. No, God made us. We didn't make ourselves. And because God made us, well, then he knows how we work. And he knows what our purpose is, and he knows what our end is, and he knows where we came from. And because of that, he is our shepherd, and we are like sheep to the Lord. And he is shepherding us through life. We should enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise, and we should be grateful, thankful to him, and bless his holy name. What are you thankful for today? One of the things I'm thankful for today is that I know my creator. I have a relationship with the one who made me. And I'm here to tell you, it changes your perspective on life when you realize that you have been made and that your creator, your maker loves you and gave his son to die on the cross for you and raised from the dead and that he wants the very best for you. He goes on to say, for the Lord is good. God is good. He is inherently good. There is no evil in God. You and I, we are not good. There is none that is righteous. No, not one. We are uh, infested with sin. We deal with sin. We live in a world that's filled with sin, and we struggle with sin in our own lives, but not God. He is good, he says, and his mercy is everlasting. He is everlasting, merciful God. And it says his truth endureth to all generations. That means that the, the things that are true of God a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, are true today. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. The disciples, they, they asked Jesus what was the way that he was going to go, that, that he had told them he knew the way. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life. His truth endures to all generations. John 17, 17, G Jesus says there, thy word is truth, speaking to God, for all generations. You know, I, 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 get, I, I get tickled sometimes. People will talk about the Bible as being a, 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 an old obsolete book. Nothing could be farther from the truth. His truth endures to all generations. The word of God is absolutely applicable to today. And if you'll begin to read it and study it and look around with the help of the Holy Spirit, you'll begin to see just how accurate and true it truly is. Listen, I want to encourage you this morning. Our God is good. Let's be thankful to him and be grateful that we know our creator. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.